Hi, I'm Carla with Raised to Walk. Thanks for joining me. And today I'm going to be sharing my top five books to give to new Christians. But before we get started, a little bit about this channel. Here we share good thoughts about good words. And on Tuesdays, I publish videos about books. And then on Fridays, I host a live Bible study on Instagram at Raised to Walk. And then I upload that here later. So if you are interested in any of those things, be sure to like and subscribe so you can get updates about new videos. So here's the thing. I think it's important to remember that when Jesus gave the Great Commission, it's not just about going out and you know, getting as many people as you can to say the sinner's prayer and to confess Jesus as Lord. The instruction is to make disciples. And so what that means is that we have to, once we make Jesus the Lord of our life, that's not the end. We are to grow in our knowledge and understanding of God. So these are five things that I think that you could give to somebody who is a new Christian to help start their library of getting to know God. So the first thing that every new Christian needs, obviously, is a good study Bible. And this is my life application study Bible. I have several book reviews on this one. So this is published by Tyndale. They have two, I think two different translations. They might have a, I know that they have a New Living Translation, a New International Version. They may have King, King James in this too. I don't remember. You can go and look at my, re, my review on, I have a comparison between the second and third edition. But what I really like about this is it has so many great resources in it. It has um, so highlights on different people in the Bible. It has timelines. It has great maps. It's a reference Bible. So when you're reading in the Bible, you will see, and you're in a particular passage, you'll see references to other passages in the Bible that are related to, or especially in the New Testament where it's quoting the Old Testament. And that is really important as a new Christian to be able to understand how the Bible comes together. As I mentioned in, in another video, the Bible is actually made up of 66 books that was written over a period of about 1500 years and so there's a lot of different cultures it's speaking to times issues and it's important to have to have a good study bible not just you know read it off of your bible app so that would be this would be number one um, thing to to give somebody and the rest of these are ones that kind of can expand and um, enhance what we're reading in the Bible. So the next one is, um, now there's two options here, and I have reviews on both of them. It would be Unseen Realm or Supernatural by Michael Heiser. This is actually, um, Unseen Realm is more of the academic level. It's a lot longer. It has a lot of references. Supernatural is a shorter version. I, I love Supernatural. It reminds me of Mere Christianity, which I'm going to talk about in a minute. It's just it just ties, it gives the framework um, of how the Bible was written. And so a lot of these passages that people seem to have problems with understanding, like the whole issue that people seem to trip over all the time about the genocide of the Canaanites, that is something that Dr. Heiser explains because it's like you're, you know, if you're just reading the, the Bible as in, you know, God and man, there's a whole other layer that's playing into this story that you're missing. So anyway, I think that's a must. I think if somebody read that work and as they're reading the Bible, I think it would just completely, you know, open up their understanding. I know that it did for me and I read this, you know, after I had been a Christian for years, there were certain areas of the Bible that it just, after I read his, the book, it was like, oh wow, yeah, this makes perfect sense now. So I have reviews on both of those if, if you'd like to um, watch those. And I also have some on my website at racetowalk.org. Okay, so the next book that I recommend is Strike the Mark by James Gall. And this is about prayer, which is so, so important. When we make Jesus the Lord of our life, we're entering into a relationship with God. And so we we learn more about God and we communicate with God. We learn what his voice uh, sounds like by reading his word, but we also, you know, a, a relationship is a two-way process. And so when we pray, we are communicating with God. And so it is, it's just such a, having a strong prayer life is so important as a new Christian. As I mentioned in my review on this, I really wish I had this a long time ago. I think it's a great book. It's a great resource um, for anyone. So that's number three. And so the fourth one is a very popular apologetics book, and that is Mere Christianity by C.S. Lewis. If you find lists of top five apologetics books, this will normally be on it. This is actually, if you go to the apologetics category on Amazon, most of the time this will be number one. I've, I've noticed that Nabil Qureshi's uh, Seeking All and Finding Jesus has been challenge, challenging Lewis for that top spot recently. But this is a great 
great intro to apologetics, a great foundation for the reasons for our faith. Now, this actually started off as a um, as a series of radio talks that Lewis did during World War II, and then it was adapted into a book format. And so he starts from the very beginning about how do we know that there is a God, and gives um, you know just great, great arguments. He talks about the moral argument. He talks about you know then the exclusivity of the Christian faith, and you know how we know that this the the Christian uh, proclamation of faith is actually the God that is. We are all supposed to be ready um, to give a reason for the hope that with, is within us, and this is it's, it's a very accessible book. It's um, written, you know, it's just it's very conversational, and so this is this is also I think um, a must-have for a new Christian's library. The fifth one is The Case for Christ by Lee Strobel. This is also an apologetics book, but it's giving evidences for the resurrection. Now, there are other books out there that if you are um, talking to somebody who is very analytical and likes reading academic works, there's other books out there. As I mentioned in my video on my top five books for apologetics, Mike Lacona's uh, the Resurrection of Christ is it, it, this big. I mean, it's huge. So if you have somebody that's, that is like that, that might be a better choice. But I think for most most people and for most new Christians, I think that least struggle is a case for Christ. So they can be confident in knowing that we're not just talking about a story or a myth. We are talking about historical people that we have valid evidences for for our faith. It's not a blind faith. It's a reasoned faith. As, as Paul writes in 1 Corinthians 5.14, and if Christ has not been raised, our preaching is worthless and so is your faith. So I think that between between these five this gives a good starting point. It's not the end, it's not all you need to know, but it's a good it's a good beginning. So I'll recap those again. So there's a number one is a life application study Bible. I personally like the New Living Translation and when I took a class from Mike Lacona he said that he recommended um, the New Living Translation for new believers and he thought it was you know a great starting point too. Uh, the second one is either The Unseen Realm or Supernatural by Michael Heiser, and then Strike the Mark on, by James Gall, which is a book on prayer. Mere Christianity by C.S. Lewis, which is a classic book on apologetics and just kind of overall introduction to, you know, um, art arguments and reasons for, for God and for the Christian faith. And then the fifth one is A Case for Christ by Lee Trouble. So now if you have books that you think are amazing for new believers, uh, please share them with me in the comments. But thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.